Hi Scorpios, thank you for viewing me today. Welcome to Searchlight Tarot or welcome back. My name is Elena. If you've never viewed me before, I am going to do your general reading right now. I do feel something and I feel as if it's a time for you Scorpios to start letting things go that have put you in an energy of um, sadness. I feel that it's blocking Right now we are in the new moon in Taurus as of yesterday, I believe, and we're rolling into Gemini season. And I feel that what Spirit wants me to tell you today is believe that something is going to come into fruition for you and you shall have it. All right, let's get, let's, I was going to say, let's go. I was going to say, let's get it. But uh, let's look right now. I'm going to look at your strongest energies. If it sounds like your situation or what you're going through, this is your reading, Scorpios, for the sign of Scorpios. This is good for all placements, sun, rising, moon, Venus, whatever resonates for you. All right, thank you for Scorpios. All right, let's look. Let's see if this is your reading or not. Spirit guide, strongest energies for the sign of Scorpios. Thank you. What would you like to show me? Strongest energies for the sign of Scorpios. Thank you. What else do you want to tell me for Scorpios? Thank you. Whoa. All right. Okay. Uh, I had a crazy flipper. All right. Over here. I'm going to put it right here. It's the last card, apparently. All right. Uh, let's see who's under the deck. I have the mountain. This is a pillar of strength right now around you, Scorpio. Did you see the big hole on top of the mountain? See right above that big sun coming in? Spirit is telling me for you to be in an energy of the mountain of strength with a lot of optimism. And I have it with the magical map shifter because something wants to change in your favor. You guys, we all create what's going to play out for us in the future. Right now with the new moon, I feel spirit is telling me for you to tap into a pillar of strength, be that mountain and stay in the power of the sun. Everything will shift in your favor. And then I have spark. All right, let's look. I'm uh, over to my left. I have the peaks of joy right now around you, Scorpio, with the unexpected visitors. You know, it's like moments of happiness, moments of what's going on, moments of happiness, moments of what's going on. I kind of feel like you keep getting unexpected energies towards you around you right now because I feel spirit wants me to push you into a place of making things happen with your thoughts and your energy. You guys, I'm here to spread positivity. And this is what we do. We create our own future with our thoughts, our manifestations, and we are in the new moon in Taurus. I'm telling you right now, this is about you creating something. I have the dry desert. Okay. And I have it with education, meaning that wherever you're at right now, Scorpios, that may feel like, boy, I'm thirsty. I need some water. You know, the dry desert is about a lot of resourcefulness around us that we're not even aware of. Meaning that maybe you've been in a place of stagnation for a long time. It was something you had to go through. There was a lot of lessons for you to learn. And what I feel, it's about you have the power in your hands, Scorpio, to create whatever it is that you want. Well, it's a big message for a lot of Scorpios today. I have coming to life. I'm loving it. And I have it with the bone collector and one card left. The bone collector is the dream catcher, Scorpios. Coming to life with the bone collector. The wise energy. It's who you are, Scorpios. You're very old school souls. And everything around you wants to come to life. You have the magic in your hands. I'm telling you, I know this message today. Last card they gave me is commitment. You look at, there's a star again, Aquarius. I was gonna say Aquarius because the star is Aquarius, which is about hope and faith, Scorpios. You have the star right now between your fingers. You can create whatever you want. I want you to see what I see. You see this, you see this, the spark. Do you see this? Everything is telling me you have the magic in your hands right now because we are the new moon. This is where we manifest. Believe that whatever you want, you will have in your hands because this is about creation right now for the next full moon. And I feel where you're going is a place of shifting something in your destiny, in your life to come into abundance for you. Moon, new moon in Taurus. Taurus is all about abundance, financial stability, success, money. I'm going to look at your recent past just a wee bit. And then it'll lead me here. 
and then I will look at what is coming in in the next week to two weeks and then love crossing at the end all right underneath the deck I went to the Rider Waite I have the seven of Pentacles I never knew who's under these decks with your gateways opening and the king of steel mm. with the seven of wands I feel like you came into an energy recently behind you fighting for what it is that you wanted Staying in your own integrity about something and it has to do with your ultimate happiness from the things that kept hurting your heart I feel you started questioning things about should I put more work into things this uh, Seven of Pentacles is about putting work into something to see the fruits from your labor um, But this is a very detached king Meaning it's the king that stands up for something and I feel that you started analyzing the people and things in your life that you felt were a part of your destiny Fighting for something to do with your happiness You know, I feel that you were staying in your own truth about something standing up for what was right What I feel you're gonna get it you got the star in your hands five, four or five cards in your current energies All you have to do is believe it's gonna happen right now Spirit guides, recent past from my beautiful Scorpios. Uh-oh. Uh Who is this? Oh, same cards. <laughs> Four of Wands with the Seven of Pentacles. Like, uh, you were questioning about something that recently seemed like it was opening up. Or could it open up? The Four of Wands is about gateways opening, but you didn't know if you wanted to put any more work into something. You were questioning. I feel the questioning energy around you. Recent past. Thank you, Spirit guides, for the trailers. Recent strongest or the sign of Scorpios what would you like to show me strongest cards please recent past for Scorpios interesting well behind you recently you had a lot of intuitive energy that's the high priestess whoa you guys are intuitive already but when the high priestess is showing up in your recent past you had a deep you had a silent knowing about something I don't think you acted upon it but you knew something Underneath the deck is I have the Five of Swords and then Judgment and then the Nine of Swords. I feel recently behind you there were things you knew you had to release in order to rebirth anything new. It, I feel the universe was making you, it was prickling with you at night because your intuition is never wrong. This is an energy of knowing something and waiting for it to happen. I do it all the time. I just sit back and wait. And it has to do with your Ten of Pentacles, your structure, your home, your family with a completion so new chapters can begin. All right, and there's the Seven of Pentacles with the Three of Pentacles. You know, should I put more work into this or shouldn't I? Three of Pentacles is about uh, your stability, but it's also about relationships, jobs, other people working to get to something to the triangle of stability, but you really start questioning it. High Priestess in the world and judgment. <sighs> Eight of Wands, a lot of things were flying in at you recently behind you. Um, I feel that intuitively it told you it was going to be good things but for some reason I feel you were doubting it because of your thoughts because with the five and the nine of swords and judgment I feel like you were like is it my thoughts I, I just feel something here I do have the four of swords I feel like you laid down a fight ten of wands because something became a little bit too much for you the weight meaning ten of wands is it's like if you if you tried to take on one more thing you were gonna collapse and I feel you finally said, you know what, I, I, got, I, I got to stop. Because with judgment in the world, I'm, I'm seeing what's going on here recently behind you. Hanging man, feeling stuck. You guys, right to your current energies, the magician. About your manifestations. Why aren't my manifestations coming to fruition? Because I'm going to tell you right now, spirit is telling me, because you need to keep that hope and faith in your hands, Scorpio. You need to believe it's going to happen. And spirit is saying it will shift your life stay in the power of optimism be the power of the mountain and everything will shift you guys it was a big message around you right now you know I, I'm gonna look at what's coming in for you in the next few weeks but if I had to guess if you create what you need to create right now with this new moon it's all gonna come into abundance all right all right I'm, I'm trying to figure out who I got two decks here I don't know which one I want to use I'm trying to figure out which, Oh, the wisdom of the oracle. I'm sorry. Okay, you guys. I just heard it in my... Wisdom of the oracle. Okay. <laughs> Higher power. Loyal heart. Round and round. All right, you guys. 
They want me to tell you if there's things in the incoming energies that keeps feeling like it just keeps going round and round and round. You need to trust. You need to trust in the universe and believe that they got your back. You need to trust that whatever you want in the next three weeks to the next full moon, you're going to have it, but you need to feel it. Spirit Guide, strongest incoming energies. Thank you for my beautiful Scorpios. Thank you, strongest incoming for Scorpios. Thank you, Spirit. Anything else? Oh, look at this one. This is hilarious. Uh, it's the same message. I have chaos and conflict. The round and round. Here we go again. Higher power. All right, you guys with the loyal hearts. This is the same cards. Telling me that if there's something in the incoming energy that keeps playing itself around and around and creating chaos, it's because you need to trust in something here that everything is connected for you. You need to trust in the higher power. The universe always has your back. They want all of us to be happy. We're their children. They want things to work out for us, but we have to have an energy of believing it's going to. I have the fortune cookie to my left. What's inside there? Underneath it says not for you. You see that? I feel, they want me to tell you. Believe that what's ever inside that cookie is going to be the, what you want. You want to hear what you want to find out what's, what's going to happen you need i feel like this whole reading is freaking you need to believe in something i have time for a nap you know maybe it's time in the incoming energies for you just to lay down whatever you've been in an energy of feeling like everything is constantly going round and round and round and round let it go spirit is saying take a time out trust i feel the big message here is trust i have no place like home and then i have go the distance you guys, this is, they're telling me right now for you to trust in something. Tap into your inner strength, Scorpios. The house is above the body of emotion. Know that whatever's coming in for you, it's going to bring you into the place where you want to be with what you're creating right now because I saw the star around you too many times. Wow, I, I feel a lot of passion today for you guys. This was a big reading and I'm here to spread positivity because we create what we want. Right now, Scorpios, you need to believe it and you need to have it in your hand, that star. I'm gonna look at some messages for you. I got the Queen of Cups, Knight of Love, Hanging Man with Judgment. If there are things in the incoming energies that keep getting you in a position of you can't find the clarity on, Spirit is saying, well, let it go and watch what new is resurrected. It's gonna push you towards the things with love is Knight of Love. All right, Spirit Guide, strongest messages for my beautiful Scorpios about these beautiful oracles. Incoming messages for Scorpios. Thank you. Unless you want to tell Scorpio Spirit. Any messages about these oracles today for Scorpios? Thank you. Anything else for the sign of Scorpios? Thank you. Okay, I have the Knight of Love under the deck. You know, I have a, who's this? Scorpio energy, five of cups. Sad embrace about something that has let you down. And the magician. Is it not the same message? Am I not, am I the only one getting this? Because I, I'm here to spread love and light. And you guys, this is around you right now, the star of hope in your hands. The only thing that can block what it is that you want in the incoming energies is a place perhaps that you're not seeing there's two beautiful new cups behind you golden cups that want to be filled you're the only one who can block your own manifestations that's what they're telling me the queen of air and it's with the two of pentacles in reverse time for you to stop juggling about what you really want in life and be the queen of steel the queen of evaluation the queen of truth the queen of honesty the queen of intuition air intuition and compassion you know I just feel like this is about you coming into an energy of knowing that you're going to have what you want the queen of evaluation the queen of attracting things that's a beautiful queen it's Libra energy but the queen doesn't tolerate BS in her life I feel like they're telling me to tell you to cut the BS stuff out of your life and you will receive her hand is out all right who's next four of cups queen of Pentacles in reverse Three of Wands in reverse. You guys, it's the same message telling me that if you 
become resistant to things with love because everything in life is about love. Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, and knowing what you deserve and having it. The Nine of Pentacles, Spirit is saying, your gateways will open. All right, you guys, the big message today, I'm just going to round this out for you, is what you have around you right now is so much manifestation power, but you have to believe, feel it. And Spirit's saying, it's all going to come in for you. The only thing that can block your manifestations right now is you dwelling on things that didn't work out. It's time to believe that things will work out. Wow, Scorpios, I am not one to spread bad news but i will tell you right now this was an amazing reading right now they're telling me that you have the power to create whatever you want by the next full moon with all that star energy around you right now and gateways want to open you guys i feel that spirit wants me to tell you if there's something that bothers you you need to let go and trust and believe you're going to get what you want Wow, the universe wants to deliver. All right, I'm going to get a few messages from Spirit today. Let's see how it ties the reading together. And then I'll roll into Love Crossing. You guys, the Knight of Love and the Queen of Love. And the card of Mastery. I mean, I, I feel that Spirit wants me to tell you to stay in the power of knowing you're going to have something. Don't be in an energy of whatever you has been done to you before. Let it go with love. And be ready to go on new journeys with love. Be open to receive things with love. And you will have it. All right. Bear guides. A few messages from my beautiful Scorpios today. Thank you. What would you like to tell Scorpios? It always ties my reading together. It's never a coincidence. I'm going to keep it. Spirit guys, a few more messages, maybe one or two more cards for Scorpios. What do you want to tell Scorpios today, please? Anything else? Okay, I'm going to stop because I think I know what they're trying to tell you because I've seen these two cards and this will save for last. These are the first two cards that popped out, Scorpios, and it's not a coincidence. The first card they gave you is the sun. All right. Life is wonderful. Thrive through the power of positive thinking and inspiring success. Success, You guys, look at the sun. It looks like a star above your head on your unicorn. All right, you guys, this is about you, you really believing it's going to happen. They gave you the night of Michael, the night of air on your horse, another horse. Time to move quickly. Choose logic, your manifestations over emotion. And this has sudden changes. Come on, I, I can't make this stuff up. Last card they gave me, the Seven of Ariel. Angel Ariel has something to say to you. You have invested wisely. Have patience and wait for your harvest of manifestations. Review your progress and make plans for your next endeavor. You guys, come on. That was beautiful. That was a big message today for you. I cannot stipulate enough. I really do feel right now around you is you have this magic in your hands. You need to believe you're going to have it by the next full moon. All right, you guys, this is what I have for you. I am rolling into Love Crossing. Thank you for all your love, love and support, Scorpios, if you're not dealing with anyone. Thank you. Um, I wish you all many beautiful blessings, you guys. Right now, you can create whatever you want and you need to believe. All right, let's roll into Love Crossing and have a beautiful day. Thank you. All right, Love Crossing. I'm going to get one deck. And then I'm going to ask for the strongest Love Crossing. Everyday Witch. All right, this is where we're going. A quick drink of water. All right. King of Pentacles, Ten of Pentacles, Page of Wands. Somebody knows that somebody's not sure if they wanted to go back to something, but you are their wish. Oh, they think about you all the time, but they always feel stuck in situations. Mm, what do I feel here? Because th this page is looking back at this. It's like the page is looking back at something that they truly wanted, their ultimate stability. Um, 
being a success. All right, you know what? I'm going to put those back in. Let's just shuffle. All right, these are the strongest love crossing Scorpios. They may or may not be all your persons. For Scorpios, love crossing, please. Thank you. And some energies can be moved around. Let's see what I feel here. Strongest love crossing. Uh-oh. Who's this? Queen of Pentacles with the Nine of Cups and the Lovers. Ah, But the Queen of Pentacles is all about her stability. And it doesn't have to be her. It's just the energy, the Queen of Earth. Fighting. She fought. That Queen fought hard to get what she had. And she holds on to her coin. Very nurturing Earth energy. But somebody feels that you are just their wish. Strongest love crossing for the sign of Scorpio. Thank you, Spirit. What do you want to show me? Strongest love plus scene. Oh. For the sign Scorpios. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Anything else? I knew there was one more. That's <laughs> why so I didn't shut the door down yet. Page of Swords. Can't stop thinking about you, Scorpios. Four of Wands. Who's this? Oh, but I got the Seven of Swords over here. Uh -huh. The getaway card. Mm. What am I feeling here? Why do I feel like it's somebody who felt they needed to get away from you? I, I, I feel, I don't mean bad. Yeah, Page of Cups. What am I feeling here? Seven of Swords and the High Priestess. I don't go by signs. That's Pisces energy. This is Aquarius energy, but Aquarians will run from um, emotion. But intuitively, they knew something. Like they knew their behavior was unacceptable. That's what I feel. Page of Cups, Four of Wands, the card of a reunion. I feel that somebody um, has... It could be somebody new. I haven't seen the Ace of Cups. Oh, actually, wait a minute. It could be somebody new. I don't know. But this is either way, Scorpios. This is a page of water. Now, if it was a king, I'd be like, all right, even a knight. But a page is somebody who is very emotionally immature. Um, the Four of Wands here, huh? If you're the cross watcher, I'm not here to put anybody down. But I have an Ace of Cups. This could be somebody new. <gasps> I got the Knight of Love. Oh, Scorpio, somebody loves you. Somebody loves you. I think somebody knows they messed up. Somebody here knows they messed up. I, I feel it. Or somebody thinks there's been deceptive behavior with you. Or they know they've been deceptive. I don't know yet. But Four of Swords, somebody who's laying down a fight right now. Page of Swords in the Tower. They can't stop thinking about you. A matter of fact, if I had to guess, you probably zapped them out of your life. They want a reunion with you, Scorpios. They are so sad. The three and four of cups. This could be third party, but mm, not going to go there. Um, but it's a reunion card. And this is a card of, wow, what the hell did this happen? Um, who's this? Two of pentacles. Someone who's going back and forth about something here with you. About if they can put more work into this. Eight of pentacles, seven of pentacles. Can something here happen or do I need, need to emotionally go to a different place? Why is somebody here? This is somebody who wants new love with you. They feel completely shut out, Scorpios. I don't know what happened. Now, I don't know. But I know if you push a Scorpio far enough, they'll give you the old tsk, tsk, you know, and bye. That's it. Listen. I've been surrounded by Scorpios my whole life. I know them. They're beautiful, loving, caring, intuitive people. But they'll take and they'll take and they'll take. And when they finally feel they've had enough done to them, they do the Scorpio zap. Uh, I don't know. Doesn't mean they don't get over it or heal from it. But it takes a lot of love to heal it, you know, from the other person. But let's look at their intentions towards you. I always feel that things can always be worked out if two people love each other. I got strength and courage. Nine of swords and Scorpio. Scorpios. Somebody's got a plan. How to get to you with their big cup of love. Uh-oh, Scorpios. <laughs> oh my God, it rhymes. Uh-oh, Scorpios. Nine of swords. Somebody's having a lot of anxiety about something here with you. Why do I feel somebody's got it bad for you, Scorpios? What is going on here? Love intentions towards Scorpios. They, this might be a new, I don't know. Either somebody's coming back to give you a new cup of love. 
All right. Love intentions towards Scorpios, please. Thank you. Strongest. In the next few weeks, towards Scorpios, what would you like to show me? Strongest love intentions towards Scorpios. Thank you, Spirit. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Got a novel for me today. I got the Hermit. <laughs> Virgo energy. Nine of Swords, Two of Wands, fighting for something here with you. They want to give you this giant cup of love. Listen, the Queen of Cups and the Eight of Wands, or someone's coming in. Hermit, Nine of Swords, and the Two of Wands. I feel that this person in the next few weeks can't stand anything that's been bothering them for a long time with nighttime anxiety. They're getting ready to move forward. They, they got a plan. They're going to make something change here with you. Six of Pentacles. That's a card of equal give and take and receiving. Emotionally, they can't take something here anymore with you. They want, I feel like they want a new beginning. Nine of Pentacles and here comes the Fool. Taking a leap of faith with feeling whole again. I, I feel whoever you've been dealing with, I feel like they, they can't take it much longer. Yeah. Ace of Wands sideways, Three of Swords sideways. They can't take it much longer person is dying of a broken heart they want a passionate brand new opportunity with you i don't care if you're the cross watcher and you're yelling at me i know what i'm feeling because here comes scorpio <laughs> come on it's just like these cards are given to me nine of cups page of pentacles in reverse and here comes the knight of fire my scorpios i'm coming i'm co i'm going to tell you right now somebody is not so focused on something they once were before that left them in the dark they know you're their wish, but they're afraid they may get their heads served on a platter in this deck. I got a feeling you zapped somebody, didn't you? Uh, Seven of Wands, Page Wands. I feel in the next few weeks, it's somebody who's going to fight for something here with you, and they're just going to try to give you a, like a little bit of, at a time, like some flirtation, passion. Try to get something started with you. Try to ignite that fire. They don't want to hurt anymore. I, I saw the Three of Swords, you guys, with the Ace of Wands. They're both sideways. I got a big king with a plan. I got the hermit looking at how can I make something here change with my Scorpios. Scorpios, you're bit, you, listen, this is the queen of love. And I feel somebody's coming in. They want to, they want to give you this cup of love. They, what they fear more than anything, though, is getting their, her, their heads served on that platter at the end of that table. Literally. I mean, it's right here. Here's this queen. I, I, I'm going to give this to my Scorpios. I don't know what they're going to do, but I'm going to take a chance. Let's just see what happens in the next few weeks. You know, if this is someone you want nothing to deal with or do with because they've hurt you, I get it. Because right now, you got the star in your hands, you guys. You got a place of you can create whatever you want by the next full moon. Feel it. Make it happen. All right, you guys. This is what I have for you today. Thank you for viewing me. If you did enjoy it and it helped you, please remember to hit the like button. Thank you. Scorpios, thank you for all your love and support. I wish you many beautiful blessings in the next few weeks. And have a beautiful day. Thank you.